it happens. And now, um, has gotten all the way to lose his semis. Meanwhile, Ezreal lost the Paradox 3 2. Good for Paradox. Um, and now we're just seeing that. Oh, Felix left. I am alone. And now we're watching Pika Lethal. Which, uh, I, this matchup just doesn't sound fun for Wii Fit. Because Wii Fit is just such a, like, big body and has such, like, weird obtuse hitboxes that aren't that fast. While Pika can just, like, combo tall characters, like, to death, it feels like. So, this is just gonna have to be RDL out playing Ezreal and figuring it out. And right now, Ezreal is showing why this matchup is so bad and... The hitbox getting extended by the F-Smash hurts. It hurts so bad. I have been left alone. I don't know why I was allowed to do this, but it's fine. But, um... Now RDO is just showing why they were ranked number 6 in Kentucky. Um, immediately bringing the game back to even. And now Ezreal is doing some, some bread and butters with Pika. That back throw was really, really good, honestly. The RDL off stage, and now this is just a slobber knocker. It feels like one player starts winning, and then the other player just like immediately brings it back. Oh, I, I love Bethel in the background. Just nobody gets context for what he's doing. It's wonderful. Um, now Ezreal is just kind of. Like, Ezreal is just back to leading again. Um, just like using the superiority of Pika in this matchup. Um, just to see what happens. Um, and like, I can't imagine being on stage against Pikachu with Leaf it, because the recovery takes so long, and P Jolt is such a good move. Um, but now this game is just back to even if, um, with deep breathing, Ardeo takes that stock, and now we just get to see, um, what Ardeo can do with the lead, and the answer is, uh, stay off stage, because Ezreal is just, like, doing pretty good, but that up smash, I, I didn't like that up smash, but, like, I hated the grab more. Um, and it feels like, it feels like Ezreal just can't find a kill. Like, everything Ezreal is going for is just a little too unsafe. A little, e a little too easy for our Dio to, um, to cover. But just as I say that, Ezreal decides, I can take this stock. I can win this game. I can, uh, beat this ranked player from Kentucky who's decided to invade our local. Um, but now it's just a matter of can Ezreal get the easy day combos? And the answer is no, that snipe just takes out Ezreal when we have a JV2 from Ardeo. Yo guys, just checking. He him for both of your pronouns or no? He him, he him. Okay. I just decided pronouns might be important. Just adjusting the screen real quick, y'all. Yeah. Don't worry, okay. Um, and now we're on town, which I... I like it from Ezreal, just because Ezreal just has the, um... Just like, Pika has some crazy, like, moves that can kill off the side, but I'm... This is also very scary for Ezreal, because like... What do you do if... Ardeo, like, what do you do if Ardeo just hits you with a forward tilt and kills you at, like, 70 off ledge? 80 with deep breathing, probably? But, um, Ezreal is currently showing why that doesn't matter and why my ideas are dumb, because, um... Now we're just seeing him be able to lead, but that... The hit of the, um, I believe that's... Uh, forward air? The back end of the forward air to the, um... 
floor tilt was really good and now we're just seeing uh, both these players show what they can do when they're just playing footsies. The volleyball almost sniping, but this back throw almost killing Ardeo, but Ardeo lives with good DI. And now we just can see if Ezreal can close it out, and apparently not, because that forward tilt did end up killing, and now we, um, now we just get to see what kind of extra credit Ardeo can um, put in because Ardeo has been putting in a lot of extra credit recently. Um, but yeah, now we're just like, Ardeo just continuously bringing it up and Ardeo is just struggling to find this kill. It feels like um, Ezreal is just desperate and throwing out these like, Options that can work, but up to not killing because of town's high ceilings. And now we have a. Uh, our deal was at super Arizona percent, which is terrifying for an invader. And that forward tilt kill at 70, I, I said it would happen, but I don't like it. Not 70, 80, but I don't like it. Nair almost killing from Ezreal, and now we. Is this gonna be a three star? Cause like it feels like right now our deal is just in Ezreal's head. Ezreal is already at 63-80. That soccer ball could have been the end. Is is our deal gonna get the three stock to close out this game too? No. Because Ezreal remembered up there is a big move. Um But now we get to see if um, now we get to see what kind of clutch factor Ezreal has, because right now, this is incredibly dangerous. It's like, Ezreal is trying to play off the sides just to get an early kill, but like, one wrong move and Ardeo can just hit Ezreal with almost any aerial and it's gonna kill. That odd tilt almost killed. And Dutch that kills off the side. And that is a low percent two stop for Ardeo, who finally seems to be back in their out in his element. And now we just get to see if um, Ezreal decides Town is still the right hit. I don't know if Ezreal has other characters. It looks like both are still considering, are still staying. So now we get to see if Ezreal can take care, um, take advantage of their counter pick more, or if it's just gonna be ideal running to a clean 3-0. Um, deep breathing to start out, obviously very nice because Pika can struggle to get over there, but um, Ezreal found a way. But it doesn't matter if Ezreal hits a five hit combo. If, Ardeo can just hit a two hit and do the and do more damage. Now both these players have just been, had incredibly even spots. Um, like they've been incredibly even to start, and then it just feels like um, Ardeo like runs away with it. First game it took a while. Second game like Ardeo almost ran away with it immediately. And now we just get to see if Ezreal can stop the wee fit train. But with that. Uh, but that soccer ball, that soccer ball is not the way to start. Um, and yeah, now we're just back to a familiar sight from the past two games. Um, Ezreal kind of just struggling to figure out what to do against this, uh, against Ardeo. And Ardeo just being comfortable in this matchup. That sour hip F smash not killing. Even though he's already at 120. And now it's just... It's just a question of how much extra percent is um, is Ardeo gonna get before Ezreal can close it out. Cause it looks like Ezreal is playing a lot safer, but like that forward tilt almost killed. One more forward tilt and like Ezreal could be dead. Oh, the soccer ball, it looks like the soccer ball saved him or he just didn't, wasn't able to hit the last of the fair. And, down tilt takes it, and now we're seeing a familiar sight from last game. Um, Ardeo up three stocks to one. What? Ezreal just needs to find a way to do something, but... It's just feeling like Ardeo is just running the show, but... Not back here, not killing it. 172. Ardeo with some... 
ADI and Ezreal just trying to find anything to kill. But like the percents keep widening and I'm curious as to we're gonna have another um two stocker if it's just gonna be a three stock and we're keeping it up. Um RDO is RDO can bring this back with some Pikachu BS, but that high up he is not the way. Almost dying and the soccer ball snipe ends the game for a JV3 for RDO, ending the set 3-0. Oh, I didn't watch that. Oh. Cool.